Hello everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 16 and compare it against the iPhone 11 and see which particular iPhone you should go and pick up. Now, clearly the iPhone 16 is going to be the better iPhone for you, and I would recommend every single person to buy something like an iPhone 16 over the iPhone 11, but maybe there's still some chance the iPhone 11 is still a decent phone compared to these two. Let's go and see. If you want to pick up either one of these iPhones though, or some phones I would recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there, and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these phones, the iPhone 11, which came out back in 2019, so like five years ago now, was an interesting phone. It was one of the last iPhones from their main flagship lineup to have an IPS panel. So on the front of it, it was giving you a 6.1 inch Retina IPS display. Definitely not the worst panel of all time, but definitely not the best. This phone, pretty thick bezels around it compared to, you know, to nowadays. You are getting this really big notch up top. It really was not that great of a panel even when it first came out, but it, it surprised a lot of people because it wasn't terrible. But it really isn't that great of a display anymore, and I think most people would probably agree. It's an older panel, 60 hertz, and you're getting the notch. Like there's like not too many, like there's not like too many cool things going on for this phone anymore. But for a ultra budget phone for this day and age, it really isn't even that bad. But definitely, it's not that great compared to something like the iPhone 16's panel which honestly isn't even that great compared to some of the other panels this year. On the front of the iPhone 16, you're getting the same size 6.1 inch Retina IPS, dis sorry, Super Retina XR OLED display, not an IPS. This is a Super Retina XR OLED display, significantly better display than the iPhone 11 in multiple ways. One, it's an OLED display, so that technology is already better, it's more premium. You're getting a smaller, there's like not really a notch, it's a dynamic island, so that's really nice. You're still getting a 60 hertz panel, but it's a much brighter panel, higher resolution as well. So this is an overall better panel than the iPhone 11 in basically every single way. I can't think of a way the iPhone 11 is better in any way besides maybe the price tag. So it's a big thing to keep in mind there. Now from the bodies, this is also another interesting thing because they are slightly different for the most part here as well. So they're both giving you these volume buttons and everything, flat side completely on the iPhone 16, which looks great. iPhone 11 has that older kind of curved side to it. You're getting this action button at the very top of the iPhone 16, which looks great. You can click into it to kind of configure it different ways. On the bottom, you're getting a lightning port on the iPhone 11, where you're getting a USB Type-C port on the bottom of the iPhone 16. So this is a really big advantage here. Having USB-C is a very cool thing, and the jump from Lightning to USB-C is massive, and I love having that type of capability on my iPhone you know, 16. So that in and of itself, like I've said before, the screen and that could be a big reason to upgrade. You're also getting this camera button on the side of the iPhone 16, which is cool to have. I haven't really been that big of a fan of it. It's like kind of whatever. It's almost like the action button, but it is cool to have, and you can use it to take photos and stuff. You're getting your SIM card tray there on the iPhone 11 if you're still into that. Then you have your side buttons right up there. On the back side, you can see we are getting dual camera setups on both, and it's interesting because the camera layouts are very similar now. Before they were diagonal, now they're vertical again. And I do like the iPhone 16. I do think it looks very nice. It's a much, it's a significantly better camera, bigger camera for sure than the iPhone 11. You can just see that for yourself. It is in and of itself a pretty wild thing. You're getting a frosted glass back on the back side of the iPhone 11 as well, which looks and feels very nice wireless charging on both, uh, max safe capability on the back side of the iPhone 16, which is great. And that's kind of it. I mean, IP certification on both as well. There's a lot of overlap here for sure. And I don't know if there's one phone that like, you know, I mean, clearly the iPhone 16 is the better one here, but I still think the iPhone 11 still feels fairly premium, but the 16 clearly is the better one here for like every single person. So that kind of covers it up from there. Now, in terms of software longevity, the iPhone 11 is still supported with software. I would say it's probably going to get maybe one or two more years of software updates. I'm hoping to, hopefully it lasts until iOS 20. But if not, it's still probably going to be getting iOS 19. So that's going to have a lot of features. It just got iOS 18, and this thing still has a long ways to go on iOS 18 as well. But the iPhone 16 is just getting started with software updates. Like, this thing has so much time ahead of it, like, it's not even funny. So this phone's going to be lasting for a very long amount of time. So that's in and of itself a very big thing to keep in mind there too. The 16 is going to be a really good phone that's going to last for many years from now. Now let's go into a speed comparison between these phones. The iPhone 16 has that Apple A18 chipset inside of it with 8 gigabytes of RAM. Where the iPhone 11 has that Apple A, what is it, 13 bonding chip inside of it with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let's go see which one's a faster phone between both. Okay, there we go. All the apps are cleared out in the background. Let's get into it. Phone calls 3, 2, 1. 
Okay, iPhone 11 significantly slower. Music 321. And two different pop ups there App Store 321. And iPhone 16 was faster. iPhone 11 was kind of fast there, but the 16 definitely fast. You can even just see scrolling through the glitchiness sometimes that happened on the iPhone 11. Whereas on the iPhone 16, much, much faster. Especially scrolling through, you can see it's much smoother on the iPhone 16. Mail 321, even though they both have six years panels. Okay, hopping out of here. Clock 321. Okay, photos 321. iPhone 16 again is the faster one. Camera 321. Okay, perfect. Let's go and hop out of here. Let's go in and get into some other applications. We can see whichever other ones we have. Let's go and click on Netflix, three, two, one. So even in like a basic application, like loading into this page, so much faster on the iPhone 16. Thank you, three, two, one. And on this one, again, the iPhone 16 was faster iPhone 11, tiny bit slower, hopping out of here. Let's go and get into Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. Now, as always, this game is basic, but I love testing it. It's just a very good, stable application with some annoying pop-ups here and there. And you can even see right here in and of itself again. So pretty big difference there. You know, you can see that the iPhone 11 is definitely a faster, it's definitely a slower phone than the iPhone 16 here. Getting into the game itself. Let's go and get into it. Let's click play. Okay, does it allow us? Three, two, one. And there's gonna be glitches on the iPhone 11 already now. Actually, no, it was pretty smooth. <laughs> that was like actually one of the smoother phones there. I'm surprised about that. Hopping out of here, let's go and get into something like Snapchat, which I don't have. Snack, Snake for Splocks, three, two, one. And definitely, I mean, the iPhone 16 is the faster one here. So in almost every single time you can imagine, a phone like the iPhone 16 is going to be the faster one. There's going to be less glitches. It's going to be an overall smoother experience. But I'm still surprised about the iPhone 11. I think this one surprised me more. Even though the iPhone 16 was faster every single time, I think the iPhone 11 did a pretty decent job. But again, there's random glitches all over the place. The 16 is going to be the better iPhone here. In terms of the cameras, like I said before, both are going to be giving you this camera setup. It's a dual camera setup at that, wide and ultra wide camera. But don't let it confuse you because you are going to be getting an overall better camera on the iPhone 16. 4K 60 on the front and the back on, on both. The iPhone 16 is giving you that camera button that allows you to go ahead and basically zoom in, zoom out, take photos and videos on it right here, which is genuinely a very cool and nice thing that you basically have. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Between both, though, you can kind of see for yourself that the camera layouts are going to be very, very similar and different. So zooming in, you can zoom in 10x zoom on the iPhone 16, where you can zoom in basically, what is this, 8 or 5x on the iPhone 11. So 5x versus 10x, twice the amount of zoom on the iPhone 16. You're getting portrait mode as well as spatial mode inside of the iPhone 16. The iPhone 11 is only giving you that portrait mode. Spatial mode is cool if you're into that kind of stuff. You also are getting cinematic mode inside of the iPhone 16. The iPhone 11 is not giving you that cinematic mode option. So this in and of itself, again, is another very cool thing. Having cinematic mode is very cool, and you are not getting that inside of the iPhone 11. So once again, keep that in mind as well. But I still think the iPhone 11's camera is very okay. It's like a pretty average camera, whereas on the iPhone 16, that camera is significantly better. So where are we at now, you know? How does the iPhone 11 compare to the 16? I will tell you the iPhone 16 is a significantly better phone in basically every single way. This phone is giving you a better camera, better performance, better display, better camera features with the camera button, action button, USB type C port on the bottom, which is so cool. There's a lot of good stuff going on for this phone. It's going to last way longer too, but it's a more expensive phone. I wouldn't necessarily say don't buy the iPhone 11, but I would say if you have an iPhone 11, there, if you don't want to spend $829 on the iPhone 16, you can still buy something like an iPhone 14, an iPhone 13, even an iPhone 12, and still get a massive upgrade coming from the iPhone 11. So keep that in mind. You don't have to necessarily buy the iPhone you know, 16. There's a lot of phones in between that I also recommend upgrading to that you would also get a very big upgrade coming from the iPhone 11. So that kind of covers it up there for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.